everybody, and welcome to Lucius. I am Tommy from Gamer7, and I've wanted, decided to do a Let's Play of this. All I know about it is that you're a kid that with basically possessive powers. I've already went ahead and made a new profile, it, and I named it Toast. So, let's go with Toast, shall we? Your telekinesis skill can even break some objects. No, really, huh. I really didn't know that. Yeah, sarcasm, sarcasm. Anyways, cutscene. I will try to be as quiet as possible. I may throw an occasional joke or so, so just a heads up. It's time to blow out the candles. Remember to make a wish, honey. That's my boy. I wish you were all dead. Very good. Happy birthday, son. Did you see that, Dad? Man, they grow up fast. I bet you can remember my sixth birthday like it was yesterday. Mary. Could you please clean up? Lucius can help you with the dishes. He can stay up later this evening to play with his new toys, but in bed no later than 10. What? Yes. Gay. Six now, don't need no curfew. Oh, hey, Chris Hansen. What's up? Like that smile you got going on there. What? You want me to look over there? Okay. Hey, what? Why'd you just shut the door? Huh? What's? Oh, hey, you're gone. Almost ten o'clock. Get ready for bed, my butt, lady. That's okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. Press space to start head introduction. Okay, yeah. I get that to slide in. Come on. Currently selected skill. Got that. We got a scary face thing. Detection indicator. Oh boy, stealth mechanics, which I'm going to fail at horribly. Current skill level. Okay. And the power level. No, I want to use telekinesis infinitely. Move around. Around like that and was to move. Alright, first order of business. Eat the cake! Eat the cake. Ooh, can I pick can I pick this up? Yeah, I can pick this up. Can I use my powers right now? Whoa, zoom. Zoomy. House oh, is a fairly nice kitchen. Okay, well nah, too close. So yeah, had you luck. Yes, I shall just hold it like that. You think I should have a curfew, huh? Well, curfew this. Oh, wait. There we go. Hey, yeah. I, I don't have a curfew, so take this. Nah. I can stay up as low as I want. I'm six for crying out loud. I like how scared her face looks right there. Hello? 
cool kids don't look at freezing people. Oh, hey, Mr. Bird. How are you today? Oh, wait, no? Okay. I'll just go back into staring into my soul. Yeah, it's a very child friend of the clock. That won't scare me at all. Oh, well, she went to sleep with her eyes open. She's just sleeping forever and ever. If I put the pieces together, this all started years back with the arrival of a new life. Dante Manor was a place filled with darkness and there were outward ambitions and hidden histories in that house. I tried to help. I should not have become so involved. But how these things unfold when we are thrust on the scene, I can't account for at all. For my part in these events, I waive responsibility. But it's there. It's a mark. A mark I should have noticed. At its source, at the center of it all, was the boy. Oh, hey, my house is on fire. Oh, hey, Chris Hansen. What's up? Lucius, there you are. And here I am. Oh, it's Lucifer. Finally, face to face. Spoilers, I knew that all along. It's okay. You can trust me. You know who I am, don't you? Uh, actually, I have no idea who you are. I come to speak to you about your calling. Each offering you bring me will make you big and mighty. It's... it's a simple thing to do, Lucius. You can influence your future and become a master over all. <clears throat> but oh, so much to do. So much ahead of you. I have some things for the birthday boy. There, on the desk. That's nice and all, but, um... Can you, like... Why is my house on fire? I mean, God, kind of dick just comes in and lets somebody's house on fire. All right, you. You need this notebook. It will help you on your journey. Okay, dialogue. Excellent. She is frozen to death. Blah blah blah. Oh right. I should probably get that. What's that? <clears throat> and look, a flashlight. This will help you find your way around at night. Go ahead, pick up your new toys and see how they work. <laughs> Such a bright toy. Oh. Damn it! Uh, and there we go. Now, Lucius, you need to do a little something. It is important that you are not caught. No. In the kitchen, you left the lock on the freezer door. You will need to get that padlock, Lucius, and hide it where nobody can find it. Otherwise, they will discover you. And believe me, you wouldn't want that to happen. Go now, get the padlock, before the adults wake up. 
Yes, the evil adults. <laughs> uh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, fire's out. Cool. All right. Ooh, I want to play. I shall. I shall play with this ball. Come on, toast. Let's play with this ball. Yes, I can take it with me. Awesome. Ooh, sweet, I can run. Wee. Wee, wee, wee. Running. Okay, uh, ooh, M. Oh, up here. Go down. Okay. No, no, it's my inventory. Uh, running, running, running. Look. No, I want my ball. Ball's awesome. Can I throw it? Can I throw it? No, I can just drop it. Okay, then. Let's see. What's over here? Lock the window thing. Is that good? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. Light bulbs and... I want the scooter. Don't want my ball, though. Ball, 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 ball. What was that? I will not be foiled by... Being people stupid. Aha. Okay. Where of crosses? What, huh? Uh, crosses. Where are crosses? Evil crosses must die. <clears throat> Whatever. Okay. So, apparently crosses like draining my power. Damn it. Okay, so, go here. Okay, um, cold room. Okay, now, uh, dining room? Alright, and... Let's see, is this the right one? Kitchen! Haha! <laughs> Cake is still here. I thought I ate that. It's here. I took the padlock, so I should put this in my pocket so no one will find it. It might come in useful later. Yes, useful. Whoa, what the? Ooh, pretty. That bird's like, ha ha ha, somebody died. Detective McGuffin. What do we got here? It looks like a cardiac arrest, sir. The woman collapsed in the walk-in freezer. This was probably caused by the sudden change of temperature. She yep. was in her mid-fifties. Yep, totally. Typical of women her age. Did you talk with the owner of the house? No. No, sir. They're waiting Wait, for you in the kitchen. Stop reading my mind. How can something like this happen, Detective? Was it a seizure of some kind? We'll look into it, but it looks like a case of misadventure. I'd ask that you stay clear of the kitchen and keep staff away while we clean up. Just relax and focus on getting life back to normal. Thanks, Detective. We'll try our best. <laughs> How hard is it to stay? Oh, whatever. All right, that's the end of chapter one. Chapter two, Smoking Kills. We will get to this chapter next time, so thank you for joining me. Um, wait, how do I save? Um, okay. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, I guess we have to watch this cutscene real fast. Alright. Watch the cutscene then see who's about saving or whatever.
Hi, Jean. Thank goodness you're here. Things are a mess. This could have real negative repercussions in an election year. <clears throat> it's a private matter, and an unfortunate accident. The press will keep out of it. I've seen to that. I could always count on you, Jean. Make yourself at home while I tidy up some papers. Just ring for Alistair if you need anything. Take all the time you need. Okay, um...